Okay, so I will now leave St. James Parish Church once again in Holton. This is Barbados' first church. I will try again to see if I can get inside the church and show you guys how inside the church looks. This is the church hall and annex next door. And this is the belfry where the bell is. The original bell up to the front. The, it predates King the, uh, Liberty Bell and the Big Ben. Looking back to Fort Stone. All behind here is Fort Stone Park, here St. James Parish Church. All here is Fort Stone. And this is St. James Parish Church, which dates by 1629. It was the First, so Bar this is Barbados' first church. Looking back at the Devil's Gate, it is set up. This, when this gate opens, the Devil will leave. When the bell rings for service, the Devil will leave. This is the old bell here, the original bell that dates back to 1696, and it had on "God bless King William." This, this is the original bell, it fell from the bell free in 1895 and it was cracked, so it had to be replaced with a new bell. This bell is older than the Liberty Bell or the Big Bang. It predates the Liberty Bell or the Big Bang. So I will go to the Devil's Gate. This is this pathway here. So looking back at St. James Parish Church from the Devil's Gate sign. This is the Devil's Gate. See so that when the bell rings for the signal of the start of service, the devil will leave. I don't know how true that theory is, but that's what they think. All here is Fort Stone Park. Behind here, Fort Stone Park and Marine Reserve and Bel Air Research Institute uh, is next door. This is back, back on Whole Town Road, St. James Parish Church here. Yeah. Let's see. No cross the road. St. James Parish Church Center for Christian Spirituality. And this is St. James Parish Church here again. The old Hotong Road. Some houses behind here as well. Welcome back to our small town road. So this is small town once again, where the English first settled when they landed in Barbados in 1627. They landed here in small town, St. James. And St. James is to the western end of the island. 
St. James is on the west coast. St. James is basically mostly northwest. Some Piper Park in here. Uh, this is Settlers Beach behind here. Uh, this is the Sun Piper Hotel over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sun Piper Hotel. This is a boutique store here called Aspiga. And this is a canteen here. And this is Trench Road that will take you back to Morgan and back to Orange Hill and Lancaster. And this is uh, also St. James Secondary School, which is between here, up uh, behind here. St. James Secondary School, now we've named Frederick Smith. The Frederick Smith Secondary School. Here's a beautiful mural graphic here. So this is Trench Road and this is the St. James Secondary School here. You now we named the Frederick Smith Secondary School. Or Sam Piper here. All whole town, rock net bar and grill here. And these are some more houses up in here. So as I said before, this whole town is a very rich area in many ways. It is really rich and famous live, reside, both internationally, international and locally. Uh, uh, tourists also frequent this area as well. But the reality is limited. And this is again Lime Grove Lifestyle Center, which was built here between 2010 and 2011. It is very expensive. The things here are very expensive. 
here at Lang Grove. They have Louis Vuitton store, they have all sorts of stores here at Lang Grove. Some expensive things here they sell though. Michael Kors, Louis Vuitton. They have a cinema here as well. And also I think we got one here at Lang Grove. And this is the Nishi, this is Second Street Hotel where you will find a number of nightclubs and entertainment centers. And this is Lang Grove Lifestyle Center here. I will go and show you guys a part of Lang Grove. This is the cannons here. This is the balcony where you can lock down. This is the Lang Grove Lifestyle Center here. Popular for nightlife. I'm going to grow up here. Diamond International. Another cool store up in here. Looking back at 2nd Street, whole town Where the nightlife is Lots of nightclubs and party houses Lots of petting and things down in here Oh, let me go to the jewelry section that sells jewelry And this is First Street here, the Chicago restaurant. Looking back at Lane Grove Lifestyle Center. Looking back at First Street. And this is the street here that will take you back. This street will take you back to the parish of St. Thomas via Lassells Hill, Sea View, and St. Thomas Parish Church. And this is the side of Lane Grove here. And this is Hawthorne awesome Methodist Church right here. Hawthorne awesome Methodist Church here. I'm not sure how far it dates back to. Royal Bank of Canada here. And this is the Rubis gas station, which was formerly Texaco. And next door is the Massey Supermarket, which was rebuilt in 2017 and renamed the Massey Supermarket. It was it was West Coast Mall first, but then it got renamed. When it got rebuilt, it was fully Massey Supermarket. M M Massey was in there when it was West Coast Mall too, but when it fully got rebuilt, it got renamed Massey Supermarket.
back to the Hoatong Monument again, a Hoatong Public um, Center. Then back at Massey, the market, which was formerly the West Coast Mall, and then it was Super Center for the market. Then Massey bought it over. Came back at the supermarket. And in this center, you will come across the public library and the um, the police station and other businesses. So again, I'm in the western parish of St. James, the northwestern parish of St. James, here in Barbados. This is the Rubis gas station and this is the monument here it says this plaque was erected in the 11th year of Barbados independence to mark the 350th anniversary of the first permanent settlement of this of the island is February 1627 and it says from 1605 to 1905 Public Center. So this is the historic monument here in Hotel. Thanks for watching now and have a blessed evening.